on Passion Hospital, Naomi caught Chad dating Sherelle, which meant Veronica and Chad couldn't be together. So Clarice, Naomi's best friend, made a play for Tony, who was supposed to be getting married. Are you listening to me? Um, yeah, sort of. Isn't she great? <sighs> Russell! Huh? What? Can't you see what's going on? Uh, you mean with Naomi and Brad? No, I mean with you and Nadine. What? She doesn't even know I'm alive. And she never will unless you do something. A love kept secret shall wither and die. Huh? Talk to her! <laughs> About what? Something. Anything. Girls love it when guys notice their appearance. Hmm. Attention, everyone. Today, we'll be greeting our new foreign exchange student, Eric Johansson, who has come all the way from Sweden to be with us. If there's anyone willing to show Eric around the school, please report to my office at the end of class. That is all. Psst, give this to Nadine. Uh, who? Nadine! Oh! No! <gasps> Excuse me, is there something going on here? Sincerity, are you passing notes again? No, Ms. Grindstone. I can assure you, this note isn't mine. It's from Russell to Nadine. <sighs> Dear Nadine, I like your shoes. Where did you get them? <laughs> <laughs> What's the hurry? I'm volunteering to show the new foreign exchange student around. Why? Aren't those guys usually geeks? Elaine, no matter who it is, who knows the school better than me? The janitor? <laughs> Well, I hope you're satisfied. Not only did I make a fool of myself, I made a spectacle out of Nadine. Now how am I going to get anywhere with her? You could have been a little bit more discreet. Not to mention creative. I like your shoes. Hey, it just so happens I do, all right? <laughs> Principal Earl, I'd like to volunteer to show the new student around. Well, that's wonderful, Mimi. Eric, I'd like you to meet Mimi Morton. How do you do? <gasps> Eric is staying with his aunt and uncle, and he just loves ice skating. <laughs> you know, it's nice for you to show me around, but you don't have to. No, no, I want to. Believe me. Okay, um, let's see. This is the main hallway, and down here are all the classrooms. You've already met Mr. Earl. He's actually a really great guy. And I'm a really great girl. And if you really want to know what this school is all about, I'd better show you around. <gasps> what just happened? If I were to guess, I'd say you just got scooped. Here's the door where I come in every day. That's my science class over there, and over here is my locker. Forget those guys, they're losers. This is my history class here, and I just love Swedish history, by the way. That's Mimi, she's a nobody. <laughs> Have I shown you where I eat my lunch? Look at her, she's hogging his entire day. Brainwashing is more like it. Destroy Target's ability for independent thought, and he is yours forever. Don't tell me you are interested. Me and him? Don't be ridiculous. He's probably as shallow and uninteresting as she is. Hmm. And at harvest, I am to help my parents with the crops. But it is the sea that I love. One day, I hope to build the boat and find a beautiful girl to sail around the world. <sighs> These were just some things I made up. <sighs> oh, 
I'll try to go easy on you. Good, because I'm thinking I am out of practice. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, you're out! This was fun. Maybe we practice after school? Practice what? Ugh. It's incredible! He actually corrected Mr. Petrie on the relative atmospheric density of Neptune. Plus, he knew all the elements. Nobody knows all the elements. <sighs> We're not even in his league. <laughs> A turn, what? Rock, put him down! Sergeant, lower the flag! Thank you. Hey! Let go of me! Hey, Brock! Huh? So, oh, bring him down. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You are most welcome. Eric! There you are! I've been looking all over for you. We're just about to begin our cheerleading practice. You said you wanted to come, right? Hi, Russell. I bought them at the mall. I bought them at the mall! Yes, he bought them at the mall! Guess what? She bought them at the mall! That's good. Uh, Russell, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Um, <clears throat> oh, how to put this? Uh, is, since you are the friend of Mimi's, uh, do you have thinking that uh, she likes me? Huh? Guess what? Nadine left me a note. I bought them at the mall. Mm. Well, it ain't Shakespeare, but she does appear interested. I knew it! I told you all you had to do was believe in yourself. Oh, by the way, I think Eric has a crush on you. Huh? What did you say? Russell, come back here! It's so hard for you to accept that Eric might like you. Elaine, first of all, I don't even like Eric. And second, people like Russell never get anything right. Especially something as complicated as whether a boy likes a girl. I didn't realize it was complicated. Most people don't. The point is, Russell can't even get his own brain sorted out. Just look at him. Are his shoes on the right feet? I rest my case. Boy, am I glad to see you guys! Russell, right sneakers, wrong feet. Oh, man. Look, I really need help. Now that Nadine has responded with her note, what do I do next? Write her another note? Uh-uh. You're beyond the note stage. So what should I do? Write her a poem or something? From here on in, you must demonstrate your feelings through action. Action? Uh... <laughs> oh man, action. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Good luck. Whoa! <gasps> so, what's your event? Event? Uh, uh, uh... Pole vault! What's he doing? Russell's never pole vaulted before in his life. Action! 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 Shovel. Rock the moon, bicycle, a duck. He's completely discombobulated. Now how am I going to get a straight answer out of him about Eric? I thought you weren't interested. Well, not 
technically, it would just be nice to know for sure. Uh-huh. Look, even if Russell was clear-headed, you'd never know for sure because of the language barrier. You're right. Eric's English isn't perfect. If only I knew someone. <coughs> Loadman! That's it! What's what? His mother is Swedish. So? So if anyone could decipher how Eric feels, it would be Loadman. <laughs> that's Sweden, well, that, no, 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 this is uh, well, the wing and dong in that Sweden. Huh? He knew we were here the whole time. So, did you ask him? Yeah. What did he say? I don't know. I think the dude likes you. Plus, he really knows his music. There's this old Eric Clapton riff from way back in the 60s. I didn't think anyone... Maybe you were right. Do you think? I have been wrong before. If it is true... I mean, what if... What if this totally perfect guy actually likes you? Yeah! <gasps> Eric, I am so hungry. Driver, stop the carriage! This is so romantic. Sincerity? Who ordered the Swedish meatballs? I did, but uh, what are you? <laughs> Eric, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> set up when I see one. Mimi, you don't even know what they were talking about. If they think they can run around behind my back and make a fool of me, they've got another thing coming. Oh. Uh, hello. This is maybe not the good time to ask, but uh, like, uh, <clears throat> would you go out with me? Huh? At first I felt bad putting him off. So much for your last suggestion. Russell, please! I ran into him again after class. Now she knows I'm no athlete. What's next? Be Mr. Sensitive? I don't know. Buy her some flowers. Knit her a doily. Just do something! Doilies? I can't even knit. <gasps> so, what was your answer? I decided to go out with him. Really? Not because I want to, but because it's the only way to get to the bottom of this and beat those two at their own game. That's impossible. How could Eric be interested in her? Cheryl told Louise, who told Annette, who told me. Hmm. Those are reliable sources. There can only be one explanation. This is part of a plot to humiliate me. Hands up! Ow! And one way or another, I'm going to beat those two at their own game. Nadine, wait! <coughs> ah! <sighs> I shall be one step ahead of Eric, ready to catch him at his own game. Aren't you being a little paranoid? Elaine, someone has to expose people like Sincerity and Eric for what they are. Which is? Backstabbers and low-down sneaks. Sincerity, I understand. It's part of her nature. But how did Eric end up on the dark side? <laughs> Eh, 
excuse me. I am to go to the washroom. But we just got here. Aha! So much for your futile attempt to humiliate me. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little? You can never be too ready for evil. Yeah, I am glad you like to go to the ice skating. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Back home, we prefer to skate outdoors. But Sincerity probably prefers it indoors, though, right? Who? Never mind. Two tickets, please. But if you know he's bringing her here, why humiliate yourself? Because whatever those two have in mind, I want to know about it. Plus, I can skate circles around Mimi, and she knows it. You know, I was first attracted to you when you helped the boy with the glasses. You mean Herbert? Yeah, it takes courage to stand up to bullies like Brock. I know, because I was class shrimp not long ago, until I started to grow. Eric, I may have misjudged... But now that I am big, I decide who I want to be with, and that is you. Responsible for this. She is. <gasps> Mimi, is this you? I can explain. You were right all along. Eric was the perfect gentleman. He was never in cahoots with sincerity. I tried to tell you, which means he must really like me. Crystal, this is a beautiful name. It reminds me of my homeland. Uh, uh, hello. What attracts me most about you is your sensitivity. True, but I'm also very humble. <laughs> huh? Hey, on the good side, it was the first romance for the both of us. It's just too bad neither of us was there to experience it. 